Hello, my name is Johan Kleis. Um, today I would like to talk about a new service which is called Google Maps Coordinate. Google Maps Coordinate is a service which adds up onto your Google Apps for Business account. It's a kind of workforce uh, management tool, in fact, that will improve the efficiency of your mobile uh, workforce. If you have uh, mobile teams on the road, like people delivering pizza or service engineering or whatever, your outside mobile teams will you will improve efficiency with regarding to those teams because uh, in fact you have functionality real-time visibility functionality so you have an idea where your teams are and what jobs they are doing and how they shuttle their work the way is uh, in order to be able to shuttle uh, work in a smarter and more efficient way team main the team members are seen on google maps so uh, it means that there is no miscommunication no more between dispatchers and workers or uh, it is diminished um, in a rather important way <clears throat> there is also a lot of uh, data capturing functionality available so it means that all your uh, workers will be able to give more uh, information more detailed information about the job they are performing by which they can also add notes and store that information directly in the cloud so it means that you don't have no longer paper-based workflows because the workers they can see by using a mobile device they can see the list of the jobs and they can uh, check in to show that they've actually received the job they have accepted it and they can perform and start by working on the, the job you have also functionality with regarding to custom on custom point of interest it means that for your mobile workers you can additionally provide them with more detailed information with regarding to the customer sites uh, location or perhaps areas to, to avoid and by working with this Google Maps workforce management tool you will have also a complete history of jobs and location so this all will enable improve and to improve the efficiency of your mobile workforce so I've set up a trial a free trial so I'm going to try to simulate this and in fact once you have actually set up the, the Google Maps coordinate service you will see that you will be able in the um, Google Apps console and the administration console that you will be able to assign uh, users who can make uh, advantage of the maps coordinate uh, functionality. So this means you can also not only assign users, you can also upload users by uh, using a CSV file. If you have a workforce, a mobile workforce team, a service engineering team, you can actually import a complete list and assign these users to make advantage of Google Maps coordinates. Once you have uh, activated the service, for example, myself, Johan Kleis, when I will log in in my Google Apps, there will be a service available uh, which is coordinate and when I click on that service I will be prompted in the login page of uh, coordinates so uh, here I can select the team for which I'm working for example service engineers and I can go immediately to uh, coordinates now uh, I am administrator so it means that I can actually have a good look and assign and create jobs so here I have already uh, a job which is not assigned uh, for the moment. I can add new jobs. I can actually show these lists of jobs by uh, assigned or not or unassigned uh, by creation time, job name and so on. But more interesting perhaps is a setup because I can set up teams and I can assign mobile workers I can provide additional info about the engineering, provide them with an ID, uh, with their mobile numbers, address location, and effect some additional information with regarding to emergency issues. I can also define the, the jobs because, of course, you have a job title and uh, the location where the job needs to be performed. But you have also functionality to add your own uh, fields. 
perhaps you have uh, specific detailed information which you want to put uh, into fields uh, with regard to a job. You can imagine that when you are working for an organization uh, where there's a lot of repairing involved on machinery, that uh, serial numbers will very interest will be very interesting information uh, uh, that could actually be a field. Roles, yes, your teams and groups have roles. Of course, mobile workers will have uh, the mobile worker role. They can accept and reject and perform jobs. And then you have perhaps also a dispatch team who will be able to have with their dispatch role, uh, they will be able to create and assign jobs. So that's interesting for managing team members and groups. Now, map layers is the last one, which I will not cover in detail up here. But what's very interesting with map layers is the fact that you can uh, make advantage of the Google Maps engine, which means that you can create your own maps uh, with specific information. It means that you can, in fact, on that platform, uh, on that Google Maps engine platform, you can actually store and manage and share your own uh, geospatial data. So this is for information purpose only that I covered. So, but this will bring us back to the coordinate functionality. Now up here, I am in the coordinate web interface. Now I've referred to the mobile workers, mobile, so they have a mobile device, an Android device, and it means that once they have been assigned, it means that they can uh, actually take advantage of the maps coordinate functionality on their mobile device. So what do they need to do? I will cover it by uh, going to the simulator of my uh, Nexus. They will need to install a coordinate application so they can go to the Play, to Google Play, and there they can uh, get the application and activate it on their Android phone. Once they have uh, activated and installed it on their Android phone, you will see the coordinates application available and means that as from here, the mobile workers will be able to point the coordinates uh, application and as you see here once he has clicked on it we see uh, immediately a map appearing and uh, underneath we see also the visible so it means that I am visible for the moment and I as a worker I can actually zoom in and zoom out in this application but you see also underneath jobs and Team. So it means that I can see here a list of the jobs uh, which are assigned to me and team, uh, which are the team members in my workplace. So um, since now I am visible, it means for, for the dispatcher that when he goes checking out a team, he will see myself, Johan Kleis, and he sees that I am available. He can actually zoom in and find more about the exact location where I am now, two minutes ago. So very important is that actually the dispatcher could actually fill in jobs and add a job and assign it to me. For example, this one, DioD company, is not assigned yet. So the manager or the dispatcher can actually edit uh, this one and decide that DioD company intervention should be assigned to the service engineer. And it means that once that he has clicked on the assign button, that it will come into the list of the person's job. So this is an intervention on a multiplexer copier that he needs to perform. So it means now that actually this job has been assigned to that person, to that mobile worker. I can, as a dispatcher, add additional jobs. For example, Mason Company is located on the Italy street in Antwerp. And again, this job needs also to be assigned. When you assign, you see that the person, how, how far he is away. So this job is actually in Antwerp, or is 42 kilometers away, the person. And it can actually shuttle the job on a specific time or eventually it could simply shuttle after all the current jobs he has. Here it can give in the, the contact name of the person. So uh, perhaps it's David Mason, contact person, and eventually also provide a phone number so that 
we have the contact details of the customer and create job. So once I have done that, I see that I have two jobs which have been assigned. Now, if I go back to the interface of the service engineer, the worker, when he goes to the jobs, he will see that there are two jobs Mason company as we have uh, filled in and DioD company which have been assigned to him. Perhaps he could decide that these jobs, that there is one perhaps not suitable for him because he has not the capabilities to perform the job and he could decide not to accept the job. So here by clicking on Mason company, he could actually decide on declining the job which has been assigned to him. By clicking on the decline, um, you will see that uh, it has been pulled out his job list. So now he has only one job left and actually when he clicks on that one you see he will see the details with regarding to that uh, job which is a problem on a copier with the multiplexer and what's very interesting on his Android phone is that uh, it is also integrated with the navigation functionality so you see the customer location and it means that he can click on navigate, he could actually accept the, the job. Huh? And once he accepted it, uh, he could actually decide to navigate to that uh, customer. So up here, uh, Google Maps navigation will give, give him the driving direction to that uh, customer. Now, what's very interesting for the uh, person of the dispatch is that he will see, going to uh, Johan Kleis, that in fact, he is here uh, still uh, available and he can see that in the job history that he has accepted the interventions. So it means now that when he is going now to that customer, uh, when I switch back to the simulator, when once that he has arrived at the customer, he can actually uh, indicate that by uh, performing a check-in. So it means that he is actually at the customer and it means also that the dispatcher will see that on the interface here that he has been uh, checked in. So here when you see uh, here Johan Kleis he will see that he has been uh, checked in at you see the stages checked in and that he is at Leverick uh, Weg in Belgium so that's the address location. So back to the simulator, so once that he has finished this work, he can uh, actually indicate it by uh, pushing the complete button. He could uh, then indicate uh, that he has performed the workload, so he does a check out and it means that the job will no longer be in his list, in his job list. So this is fairly good information. You see everything is on hand, navigation, but also the functionality to call the customer. In fact, if he would be 50 minutes too late, he can actually call us from here as well. In the settings of Maps Coordinates, you will see that also the service engineer can create a job himself. He can also define his visibility. For example, he is only working till half past five. Well, uh, then as from half past five, he will be no longer visible on the dispatcher's map. Also, if he would have taken holidays, he could simply uh, check out. So uh, this is what the Google Maps coordinates concerns. So what's also not to forget is that he's also always available and he can also see the whereabouts of his team members. Uh, this is also the, uh, the fact, this is also for the dispatcher. So for example, if a role, a job role has been, a job has been rejected, he can immediately reassign the job to another team member. So all that functionality is here available to do so. What's also very important to know is that you can also have a list, a history of all the jobs that have been performed. So up here, I see the job history. I can see that one for today, but I can also have a list uh, by month so that I can uh, browse uh, per month and see what all the jobs were and what, have, what has been performed. 
and we can actually also download this as a CSV so that we can have a complete trace of all performed interventions that we actually could also invoice uh, to customers. So that's what MAPS coordinate is about. So I hope you enjoyed the, the explanation of this functionality. Don't forget to, to like the movie or to subscribe my channel and see you next time.